Don't get suckered into useless software. Here are the top five programs to avoid in your gaming PC in 2025. And if you haven't watched our video on the top five free software to download, you should check that out. First up, the criminally useless antivirus software like Norton or McAfee, McAfee, McAfee? Mac, they're useless. Once upon a time, you needed to worry about viruses going full Cronenberg on your PC. Now, Windows Defender keeps your PC nice and safe, making third-party antivirus solutions completely pointless. Worse, antivirus software is actually harder to get rid of than many viruses. It claws its way into your system, requiring you to purge it in multiple passes to finally be rid of it. And it slows everything down by running in the background, the hardest of passes. Speaking of passes, LastPass is a popular password manager that has been plagued by hacks. These unsavory brigands have managed to steal thousands of passwords, causing over $150 million in damages. No, God, please, no! Having all your passwords out in the open is exactly what LastPass is supposed to prevent. Writing your passwords on post-it notes on your monitor is actually the safer option. You really don't need Adobe Acrobat Reader to read PDFs. Web browsers are now the default for reading PDFs, making Acrobat pretty much useless unless you need to get fancy with your PDFs, like creating signable documents. However, if you're doing that, then your big fancy business should probably be paying for it. Unleash your PC power, Kakarot! Or don't, because performance boosting software is a lot. This software runs in the background, actually making your PC slower than it was before. It just simply can't do all the things that would actually make your PC run faster, like overclocking your CPU or enabling your XMP for your RAM. Can't, it can't do it. Depending on your PC or motherboard, you may already have heaps of bloatware on your computer, or you could be prompted to download even more software even if you just built your PC. Really, everyone does it, but this kind of bloatware is unnecessary, and often it'll try to trick you into installing antivirus software or other third-party apps that you absolutely do not want on your system. So, hunt down the bloatware in your app section and get rid of it. That's it. Did we miss anything? Let us know in the comments below if there's any other software that should be avoided at all costware. Be sure to follow us for more great content like this and check out Newegg.com for all the best in PC hardware this side of the multiverse. I keep doing this and it feels very rude and I'm not, I don't mean, <laughs> I'm not trying to I'm not like, oh, Nico, am I? Scroll down. Scroll for me.